Hey, what's up, all my fellow geeks, geekets, nerds, comic book readers, video game players, and action figure collectors all around the world. This is the Pro Nerd, and I am finally doing my very first review with my brand new camera. Oh, I can't wait to get into it. And today, I will be reviewing the Star Wars Black Series 3 and 3 quarter inch uh, Last Jedi slash Force Awakens Old Man Luke Skywalker. And um, as you can see, I'm recreating the last scene from Force Awakens where Rey is handing him his lightsaber and he's taking his hood off. Um, I really hope the um, that we get a three and three inch um, super articulated Rey and her resistance outfit so I can properly recreate that last scene. Right, but we'll get Rey out of here. And let's take a look at Luke. Put his arms down here. Oh, very, very cool figure. Oh, wait, but before we get into him, take a quick look at the box. Got a nice picture of Mark Hamill there. Luke Skywalker, Jedi Master. Got on the side there. Nothing up there. On the back, it says, um, After tragedy destroyed his attempt to rebuild the Jedi Knights, Luke Skywalker vanished from the galaxy. Now the Resistance needs his help to thwart the efforts of the evil First Order. Oh, man. <sighs> and, um, have you guys seen Last Jedi yet? If you have, what did you think of it? Let me know in the comments below. Um, I saw it. I loved it. Okay, I haven't seen it in theaters, but it was spoiled for me way before I even got a chance to see it. So I'm waiting for the Blu-ray. So I pretty much know what happens, and I've been watching leaked clips on YouTube. So I pretty much know what happens. So spoilers for those who haven't seen it yet. Uh, there will be spoilers from here on out. So... Yeah, if you haven't seen Last Jedi yet, you might want to leave. Okay, um, when I do get the Blu-ray, I am going to watch that scene where Kylo Ren and Rey fight together. I'm just going to watch it over and over and over and over again. And what about when Luke fights Kylo Ren? Oh, epic. Okay, so let's take a look at Luke here. Um, let me get a light on him. Okay, for some reason, my... There we go, there we go. You can really get in close with that face. Okay, first off, the sculpting work on this thing is beautiful. You really got his, um... The camera focus. Come on. Right, I'm just going to hold them here. You really got the old man wrinkles right there. See if I can zoom in on that. Yeah, you really got his old man wrinkles. The beard is painted so nicely. His hair is really scraggly looking. Is that a word? Scraggly? That looks like a very, very elderly Mark Hamill to me. Sorry, guys, I... There we go, I can tone down the brightness. There we go. Yeah, that looks like a very elderly, aged Mark Hamill to me. The rest of his outfit looks really good. We'll get into the rest of the outfit. I just want to give you guys a f look at the figure with his cloak on. Not much to the cloak. Right, let's take this off, which does come off very easy. Comes off much easier on the three and three quarter inch figure than it does on the six inch version. But regardless, I'm still gonna get the six inch. I want the six inch Luke in my collection, old man Luke. All right, so we gotta look at the face. Um, hair is painted really nicely. 
The outfit looks really, really good. That outfit looks awesome. Oh! Lightsaber loop. It's actually functional. It does take a little finagling, but it can be done. You can clip um, a little lightsaber on three and three inch quarter uh, Luke Skywalker's belt. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I like that. And let's get a really good look at that robotic hand because this robotic hand is really, really nicely detailed. Come on, focus. It really is nicely detailed. I'm just trying to get it to focus for me. Oh, oh. Oh, there we go. Well, all right, maybe it'll help if I turn this off. Oh, it's focusing. All right, let me zoom out. Maybe that'll help. Sorry. Oh, here we go. Here we go. I had it. There we go. Now we can get a better look at it. Yeah, it is pretty nicely detailed. Um, it's not as detailed as I uh, wanted it. Um, I, re you know, I would have wanted to see the little laser blast on his hand, on his robot hand that he got from Return of the Jedi. Turn this off. But it is a pretty nicely detailed robotic hand. It, it looks like uh, Old Man Luke's robotic hand. Really can't ask for much else. Alright, it, the quality really seems to be better when I have the light on, so I'm just going to leave the light on. Yeah, I really do like it. I like the, um, the robotic hand. I like how it looks. See if I can zoom in. Oh, I can't. Nice. All right, yeah, look at all that detail they got in there. It's not much, but for the detail that is there, it does look pretty good. It really, really does look good. I'm impressed. Oh, sorry guys, got to tone down the brightness again. Zoom out. All right, rest of his outfit looks really good. He's got a nice pattern on his uh, shirt there, going all the way down the robes, and his robes are really dirty, which I imagine they would be living on that island, and here's the back of the figure. He's got really nice sculpted wrinkles in his sleeves. Oh, and I wanted to comment on this. I love how his boots look. His boots are... <sighs> They are so much like his Tatooine boots. Okay, so there are differences. There are differences. I knew there would be, but these boots, you can tell that they're similar to these ones. Get my Tatooine loop back up there. All right. And articulation, it's no surprise. It's a, it's a Black Series figure. His head can do a full 360. He can look up only that far. You can look down. His arms can go all the way out. And, oh, that's a common problem. At least on mine, the left hand really seems to like to pop off. I, I really don't know why. All right. And, um, he's got a good, uh, turn in the waist. Can't can't bend in the waist. There's no ab crunch. 
but that's okay. He's an old man. How are, how much movement is he going to be doing? Legs can go out. It can go up, but yeah, just that far. Oh, and this is nice. He's got a thigh cut right there. Bend in the knee. Ankle swivel. No, a little bit of ankle pivot, but really nothing crazy. Uh, dang it. That, that, that. This hand really seems to like to pop off. I really don't know why that is. Look at that grumpy face. Luke has seen some shiz. He is not the happy-go-lucky, wide-eyed, innocent youth that he was at back on Tatooine. He has been through some stuff. Alright, and just for fun, let's get... Uh, there we go. Let's get his Return of the Jedi version in here. I always have such a hard time standing this guy sometimes. Wow. You can see a height difference. It actually looks like Luke shrunk a bit in his older years. But I guess when you get older, that's what happens. And here he is with... Bespin Luke... Um, I don't know. I can't really tell a height difference there. Let me turn the light off. Yeah, I don't know. I can't really see a height difference there. Can you guys? And here he is next to his uh, apprentice, Ray. Is it just me, or does Ray look a little taller than Luke? That has to be my imagination. And, last but not least, here he is next to his papa, Darth Vader. And no surprise, Darth Vader towers over Luke, even in his elder years. So, um, in conclusion, this figure is really, really well done. It has to be one of the best 3-inch Luke Skywalker figures we ever got. And I love that you can lay the hood on his head like that. It ju it, it doesn't cover his head, it just kind of rests there. But no big deal. So, I'm going to give the figure a 10 out of 10. The, the sculpting's awesome. I love the, the, the soft cloth. Uh, sl soft, soft goods cloak he comes with. I love. I like the articulation. I like how um, how well detailed he is. I like that you can actually see wrinkles on his forehead, like he really is an old man. This figure gets a ten out of ten from me. Oh, and the fact that you can put a lightsaber on his belt. That's just a nice little extra. Again, it does take some finagling, but it can be done. So if you're a Star Wars fan and, and a Star Wars action figure collector, and you especially love the 3 and 3 inch line, I highly recommend this guy. I got mine at Walmart. They had like three of them left, and I was going to get the 5 POA one because I figured... Well, he, uh, he's old man Luke. How articulated does he need to be? But, yeah, I saw this guy in the Bla by the Black Series, and I had to get him. I just had to. More articulated and better detail. And you can't beat the, the soft goods cloak. That's just awesome. Um, so yes, um, I do recommend this guy. He gets a 10 out of 10 from me. My only complaint is that left hand that really seems to love to pop off. That's my one and only gripe.
But other than that, I think the figure is really solid. And I really do enjoy it. Especially as a Star Wars fan. Especially as a fan of The Force Awakens and The Last Jedi. Um, man, it was so much fun recording on this better quality camera. I had a blast. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, there's definitely more content heading your way. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe if you want to. And follow me on Instagram and Facebook. And join Pose and Action Figures. Um, it, it blows my mind how big that that page is getting now. You guys rock. Plain and simple. Alright guys, this is the Proud Nerd signing out and saying to all my fellow nerds and collectors out there too, stay nerdy. Peace.